Hi everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the Crochet World Magazine Flip Through. Um, and this is going to be for April 2023. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the cover. There are 21 springtime patterns. It's really, really a pretty cover. It's bright, bright colors. Here's a little bit closer. That's a bag. The granny squares. Very pretty. Okay, let's go ahead. So, to start out, as always, we have the table of contents, which has all the projects, um, any, um, like, letter to the editor, any of that stuff <clears throat> is on here. And here are some of the patterns inside. And here is our, editor, our letter from the editor, right there. And we have an article, very first thing it is called How to Read a Crochet Pattern. So, very informative, diagrams, They talk about everything that you need to know in the article on how to read a pattern. What a CH stands for. Um, what a C stands for. CS. So on. So it's all right there, which is very helpful for those that are beginning to crochet. Okay. So we're going to get started. Primavera Wrap. It is a beginner pattern. And it uses three weight, which is light. But you can use whatever you want. So here it is. Very pretty. And right up here, easy. Number one, three weight. Very pretty. And here it is very pretty pattern and this could be done not only these colors make it your own but it would be in so many you could do that in so many beautiful colors as well i really like that okay the next one is granny turtles and it is an easy pattern and it's four weight so here we are easy four weight some of how to do some of the stitching. Here's the turtles. They're adorable. If you watched a recent, uh, my last crochet video, I was working on one of these. It was from this magazine. So that will probably be coming out in a couple of weeks. So be watching for that. So here they are. Just adorable. Quick, easy to do. Okay, the next one is Over Under Armchair Pocket. It's an easy pattern and it's confident beginner for this one. So they want you to have a little bit more knowledge than just being a beginner. You kind of have to know a few stitches. And it is using three weight, but once again, Make it your own and use whatever you want. So here it is. And the weight. Really pretty. Next one is called Tulips Wrap. It is an easy pattern and this is using super fine. So there it is, easy, super fine. And there it is, that's really beautiful. 
so pretty. Would definitely be nice for the later um, spring, early summer. So, very pretty. The next one is Bunny and Carrots. And this is an easy pattern, and it is a four weight. So, easy, four weight, some stitch help if you need it. And here it is. There's the bunny, adorable. And then the two carrots. Love that. That would be a beautiful, a beautiful display. And then maybe have some Easter eggs around. So that's really pretty. And here is the back of the bunny. The next one is Josephine Rose Doily. This one is challenging. So this is on the high spectrum. It is a six. Um, and it does look like there's a lot involved. So it is a challenging and it uses a size 20 crochet cotton. So here it is challenging all the way to the very end. And it's crochet cotton thread is what it is. That is beautiful. It looks very like lacy. I would love to try that. I'm not, I don't know if I would be successful with that. Looks like there's a lot to it, but I really like that. It's very, very pretty. So there's that one. The next one is Bunnies at Play Runner. Here is the fillet stitching again. This is an easy pattern using lace weight, so like crochet cotton thread. So easy pattern, lace, and there it is. I'm trying to get it so maybe you can kind of see the pattern a little bit. Let me put it this way. There. Isn't that cute? Little bunny. Yeah. So that's easy and it's intimidating to me and I'm really, I'm just trying, I just need to sit down and try it. Because all of these that I see, I love them. And then there is a quick view of the diagram for it. And the next one is called Ivica Doily. I don't know if I said that right. It is a moderately challenging, so it's a five. And it, and it is lace weight, so crochet cotton thread. And here it is. How beautiful is that? That just says spring and summer to me. That is so intricate. But it is beautiful. I could imagine this in any color combinations. So pretty. So there's that one. And then we got a product review, Editor's Faves, the Coco Knits Makers Board Kit. So they tell about, they always tell about a product or a book or something that is related to crochet. And then there's Fields of Poppies Hot Pad. This is easy pattern and it's four weight. So easy 
pull the weight. It's really pretty. There you go. The next one is Desert Landscape Throw, and it is intermediate and four weight. Intermediate, four weight. Look at that. That is beautiful. Really beautiful. Love that. Love the colors. Everything just flows with that. So pretty. And then they give you a diagram. The next one I'm considering doing, and it is Paw Print Pet Mat. It is intermediate and three, a three weight. So here it is. Isn't that adorable? I would probably use darker color than this because I, just for the it looking dirty, this would have to be washed like all the time. So I would probably go a little darker on this. And if I went too dark, then I would have to make the paw prints lighter. So, but I really like this. I'm really considering that as well. I like that. And then, of course, they've got it charted. And the next one is Lemon Slice Kitchen Mat. And this is intermediate. It's four weight. And they do have a designer tip on this one. So here it is, intermediate, four weight. Look at that. Now that's talking summer. It's got the lemons. Yeah, really pretty. And then up here, they do have the designer tip to help you out. And then once again, a graph. They have a lot of graphs in this one this time. Um, summer dream wall hanging, this is pretty too. And it is easy and it's three weight light yarn and easy three weight look at that one i like that too that's really pretty and of course you could change the colors up a little bit make this more orangey than that to make it maybe be more like a sun, you could make it more like a sunset. Really pretty. And they do, on this one, they do show you different ways to do a stitch. And they even give you photos here to help. And then, of course, another graft. And then we got In the World of Crochet. 40 Years of Crochet by Michelle Wilcox. And these are just some of the things. There she is. That she has made. So pretty. Parrot slippers. And this right here is a towel pot holder in the towel right there. 
Okay, and then the next one is Granny on the Go bag. This is the bag that was on the cover. And it is an easy pattern, four weight yarn. Easy, four weight, and there it is. The size is finished is 13 inches wide by 16 and a half inches tall. And there is a designer tip to help, and then different stitch stitches that they show you how to do. And the next one is Uncommon Granny Afghan. It's easy. It is four weight. Easy, four weight. They do have some more stitches. Look at that. That is pretty. I love the colors. They're not really bright. They don't really stand out. They're more muted, but they're very pretty. So there's that. The next one is Floating Blocks Centerpiece. And this is an easy pattern and a super fine. Number one, super fine. So, easy. And then, number one, super fine. And here it is. This is like you could put it on um, like center of your table, dining room table, kitchen table. Um, you could use it like on a chest if you have a chest. You could put it in the center of that and put something on it. It's really pretty. And they do give you some diagrams down here. The next one is Fibonacci cardigan. I probably really butchered that one bad. Intermediate and it is a four weight. So there is how It is however you say that. And once again, it's intermediate for weight. Look at that. That is very spring, summer. I love the pockets. A nice wrap for, you know, to wear on maybe a cooler spring day. A spring night, early summer, where maybe later in the afternoons and the evenings it gets cool. Yeah, really pretty. Really pretty. And then here's a back view. And then they give you some diagrams on how to put it together. And then we have a Granny Stitch Inspirations Throw. And this one is moderately challenging. <clears throat> and it is for weight. And then there it is, for weight. And they do have a designer tip to help you. And here it is. So pretty. And once again, you know, these are what they used, but you could do any color combination that you like. 
any color. Yellows, um, pinks, blues, any colors, but it's very pretty. Let me see, I think we are about to the end. Granny Rectangled Afghan. This is intermediate and it's four weight. Four weight. And here that one is. Really pretty. We have some really pretty things in here. So a lot of stuff with graphs this time. So that's kind of how they t they want you to put it together. And then here is some diagrams for you. And that was the end of. Um, the patterns. So yeah, they have a lot of patterns this time that had diagrams that you need to have diagrams with. Um, there was a mix mash of, you know, intermediate. There was a lot of the challenging this time. I think there was about three or four of those. Challenging or ch moderately challenging. Um, they'd had some intermediates. So once again, there was something for everybody. There was beginner, easy, um, confident beginner, intermediate, challenging, moderately challenging. So there was something for everyone. And then we, at the end, we once again have the stitch guide that tells all the stitches and what they're called. And then you have, these are the stitches as well, but they show you how to do them. And these are usually always ones that are used in the magazine. And then this is the back. And this shows you the number, the page number that all of them are on. So if you don't want to look, you want to do a pattern, you forgot where it was at, just come to the back of the magazine and it gives you the page numbers of all patterns right on the back. And that is it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, this was a nice magazine. Like I said, I love the front. It's bright, cheerful. Makes you get it into the springtime. And uh, yeah, if you've never um, got Crochet World magazine, um, please check it out. It would be available on Crochet World uh, magazine.com um, it's also available in the stores grocery stores um, bookstores wherever it is that you get your magazines or books or whatever from they would more than likely have this it is on display until April 24th 2023 um, this is not sponsored in any way this is just a magazine that I have used for years, and I really feel that it's a magazine that um, any crocheter from beginners on through advanced, um, challenging, intermediate, any of them could use this magazine. So, yeah, just check it out if you're interested. And that is it for this time. Thank you so much for watching for liking, for commenting, and sharing my videos. I appreciate it all so much. Please take care, stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.